Let's turn once more to Soil Watch 12. Chief Meteorologist Matt Hoffman tracking our weather for us and uh, looking for some rain still, Matt. Yeah, we definitely could use rain, not only for the drought, which we got an update today. Take a look. I'm not seeing any change, but still a good chunk of Southern Oregon seeing some moderate drought, but we're still well in fire season. And with temperatures looking to generally over the next seven days, be fairly warm above average, well above average the next couple of days and you add on any breezes, uh, fires can still spread quick this time of the year. So we're still going to be concerned about fires and fire season. There is some wet weather well to our north with the storm system that brought quite a bit of rain to British Columbia, but our weather is going to be staying fairly quiet. Temperatures this hour, we're in the 40s in Chamalt and Lakeview, 59 in Klamath Falls, 63 currently in Medford. We're at 65 in Montague and in the 50s right now along the coast. T tomorrow, we will be looking at those temperatures a bit warmer for your Friday along the coast. Lots of sun, 77 in Brookings, 66 in Port Orford. Northeast winds are going to pick up and that Checo effect will really help warm things up in the Brookings Harbor area. Northern California will get up to 88 in Wairika, 88 in Mount Shasta, pushing 90 in Fort Jones and up to 94 degrees in Happy Camp. East of the Cascades, a chilly start, but lots of sun and it'll be warmer. Everybody get in the 80s tomorrow through Klamath and Lake County, up to 81 in Chamult, 84 in Klamath Falls, up into the Cascades. Ample sunshine will get into the 80s in Prospect and Butte Falls, 79 at Lake of the Woods and then in the Rogue Valley. Temperatures climbing into the upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. Plenty of sunshine looking quite quiet across the region for high school football games tomorrow evening. Here's a look at Stormcast. We'll see plenty of blue skies throughout the region as we head on into your Saturday. It'll be clear tomorrow night. We'll see a lot of sun through the morning for most spots, but notice some clouds drifting in later in the day. This is a dry cold front that's going to sweep through and it's going to pick up the winds Saturday afternoon across the region. Some gustier conditions towards Lake County, uh, but it will drop temperatures a bit. We'll see a cooler day on the coast for Saturday as those clouds start to increase. But look at what happens further inland in the Rogue Valley pushing 90 on Saturday but we drop about a 10 degrees for your Sunday behind that dry cold front. Not going to see any rain with it, but we will see that drop in temperatures. 80s the next couple of days in the basin, lots of sun, and then cooling off a bit on Sunday, a little bit more seasonal temperatures. Your seven day forecast looking like this. We'll be seeing those breezier and blustery winds through the weekend for much of the coast and even into early next week. Some more warm coastal weather expected into the start of next week with those highs in the 70s. Northern California temperatures heating back up a bit over the next couple days. Just a slight dip on Sunday, looking to stay dry into next week as we go from September to October. The Klamath Basin highs in the 80s the next couple days. We dip into the 70s for a couple days and then back into the 80s on Tuesday. Overall, some ups and downs, but temperatures still running near to above average for this time of the year. Staying dry in the mountains, looking good though for any outdoor plans. Maybe doing some hiking this weekend up in the mountains looks great. And then for the Rogue Valley, very summer like a little bit of a dip on Sunday, but we're back into the upper 80s to near 90 Monday and Tuesday with plenty of sun.